Mr. Never Wants to Do Anything with Overland Research here doing another special on the outdoor angle. Today, we're going to do an open box thing. This package that I just got from AR500 Targets. It's going to be my new AR500 Steel. A 10 inch gong, eight inch gong, hangers, and corner pieces so we can make our own target stand. If I can get the box open. You guys have better suggestions on how to get open the overly taped up beat the box go ahead and leave a comment give me some suggestions I'm sure a box cutter would probably be better but i'm using what i have these would be our hangers which are also made out of ar500 steel so for that chance that we may possibly miss and hit our hangers we don't have to worry about damaging them do that later some of this tape off We'll also be adding some video of this weekend when we go out and put our new targets to use. More hangers. And these would be our corner pieces. What we're also going to do is build the stand. So, website suggests or says to use three quarter inch conduit and using 36 inch pieces. These go out on the corners, on the ends, uh, 36 inch three quarter conduit, 36 inch three quarter conduit on both sides to make our legs, and then one piece across for our hangers. Oh jeez. our eight inch gong. Peculiar. The air 500 seal is quite heavy. And they're 10 inch and they're filthy which is fine because we'll probably be getting some spray paint to cover it and farmer dave gave me a package to open with this i don't know what's in it i don't know what's in it it's like christmas for everyone farmer dave is the only one that actually knows once again, I know not proper box techniques, but at least I'm being safe and heading away from it. Ooh, yay! More boxes and garbage. Okay, how do we open this? That way. That way. Oh, it's more AR500 steel. We got another eight inch gong and four inch, six inch. How big do you guys think that is? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say six. Those are our boxes open. Now for the fun part, cutting tools. So I got my conduit up, take my tape measure. I've already marked my first line. Got my trusty saw. I remember, always two clicks. Make sure it works properly. Good old fashioned Sharpie for your next one. Do the first cut, then fast forward through the rest, put it all together and see how it looks. Remember, measure once, cut twice. sand those down. That fucking hurt me. Again with the stupid tape. We have our final piece. Now we just need to figure out how long we want it. So we're gonna do a little test fit.
I think that might be good. I may just leave this piece how it is. I'm gonna add some hangers. So my kit from AR500 Targets came with two hangers for each gong. Since Farmer Dave got some additional ones, we may just do one in one. So that's our six and eight that Farmer Dave got. This is my 10 inch, my 8 inch. And I think that may actually support the weight of all four. This weekend we are going out shooting. The whole reason I got this baby, I'm gonna test out the AR-15, Caltech SE16CA, Glock 19, Glock 21, Farmer Dave's new 9mm sub compact XD9, and his XD45. Plus whatever anyone else has that they're willing to share with. First couple ones I expect to be back until I can get the scope dialed in. If you guys liked it, laugh. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends. We will be adding tons of more contact. Also check out the website so you can get your official The Outdoor Angle merch. Until next time.